Great question here about iron striking and how to get better at it, how to improve your strike. He's obviously struggling with the strikes of his iron. Let's see if we can help him. So the first point of improving your strike is first off, you've got to measure it. You need to find out where you're hitting it on the face. So are you a scatter gun? Are you hitting it all in here or at the bottom or at the top? or out the tail, are there patterns? Now I've got, um, we've got a website called My Golf Games, which you can actually go to, I'll put a link in the description down below, and you can measure where your strike is, you can practice what I'm gonna say here, and then see if it moves your strike, keep a record of it over time. And you can use this website to practice many other things, maybe go and check it out, it's a fantastic tool that we're gonna develop over the coming months and years. First things you can do to try and move strike, he's saying fats and fins, so in theory it sounds like the ground hitting first, um, and tops, I think he says, was it as well? Tops are often because people bottom the club out too early and then catch the ball on the way up. Not many people top it because they catch it actually on the way down, which is what people believe. The club is on the ground, it goes up, it comes back down to the ground, then it goes up again. If you get the club to the ground too early, before the ball, you either hit the ground, duff. If you miss the ground, you get in the ball on the way up. There's your top and fins. So, a couple of things you can work on. First thing I'd like you to try is just feet together. Get your feet like literally almost touching. I've got an eight iron in my hand here. Good shoulder turn, good hip turn, and see what that does to your strike. What it does is it centers you over the ball a lot more. So if you're someone who's pulling off the ball and staying there to get the bottom of the club too early, you'll notice that because feet's together, you're, you're back swinging, you'll tip over. So feet together, three quarter to as full a swing as you can do. Great way to see if it changes strike. If it does, then try and reproduce those feelings in a real shot. Next way, try and move low point forwards. Great idea is try and feel like you're turning onto your lead foot more aggressively. So on the downswing, feel like you're really opening up onto this lead foot. Again, bottoming out quite often for people is hanging back. It's not getting across. Now I don't mean get across and like get loads of sway in because often that makes people lean back and they can hit the ground early as well. You want to really post up on your lead leg. So do a few practicings where you feel like your lead leg is straightening, opening those hips up and then push through. So demo would look something like this. So I'm straightening my lead leg, we rotating hips to then do a demo hit and then hit a few shots with that and see if that moves strike. See if it moves the strike more forward of the ball. So ball and then feeling of ground second. If it does, these are thoughts you need to take to the course to try and improve. And then the last one you can do, and this is a harder one, but it's a good way of warming up. You could use a wedge. I've got an eight iron here. Just trail hand on the club, lead hand behind my back. Nice medium width for stance, three quarter swings, just trying to literally chip that ball forwards. So try and do a big pitch. What this will do will make you realize how much you've got to activate your body to make a contact. If you're someone who's getting a little bit turn, then not turn drops or even no turn kind of crashes, swinging with one arm. So making swings where you feel like you're literally turning with one arm will make you realize this club feels quite heavy. And if you don't, the club's just gonna flop around. So it really gets you activating your body, activating your rotations might allow you to shift that uh, strike point a little bit more forwards. Those are go and hopefully they'll help you and the best way again remember to know if they're helping you just use the free tool at My Golf Games. it's free just use the strike module and keep measuring every time you practice maybe set out 10 balls don't hit them all just set out a set amount of balls that you're going to apply a pre-shot routine and a swing for and see how it moves strikes and you can see over practice sessions what is actually shifting the needle because so often in a practice session the emotions take over and you almost forget a little bit what was doing what, you know, what was making me hit those better shots? Was it this thought, was it that thought? I hope that helps answer the question. If you're not subscribed already to the Mar Ask Golf Guru channel here, this is Mark Crossword, hello. Um, you see me obviously on YouTube, but you might be seeing me on my, my other channel. This is the Q&A channel. This is just here for you, answering your questions. If you've got questions, hit the comments down below. And you want free answers to your golf questions, hit that subscribe button because I'm posting video answers every week.